Welcome back to Sawmill Explained. We're going to look at roles. In professional, you only get two roles, the two default, which is manager and visitor. In enterprise, you have unlimited roles, so you can create any new ones you like. Get to roles from the main menu. If you're in a report, from the admin menu down the right-hand side. So, two default roles, the manager role, which allows you access to pretty much everything, and the visitor, which allows you access only to the reports. And in fact, only certain elements of the reporting interface as well. So you've got a fair degree of control over what a user will see when they, when they uh, log into Sawmill's interface. The user's got the uh, access to help. None of the admin interface is accessible. For the manager, it can get to nearly all the uh, admin stuff, all the reporting, config, and there's some extra network features that are always off by default but are available. This is an enterprise copy, so we can go ahead and create a new role, and we can call that a network role. Whoa, network role, and specifically access to the network functions. Since that's all we want them to do, we don't want them to be able to log in, we can save changes. And that's done. You can uh, obviously pick and choose what type of user you want and what they have access to. Okay, thanks for watching.